that's the spot I'm looking to paint namely that like six foot by eight foot little square wall by the front door just gonna go around the back have a little terry quick or skin up a terry then uh, I'll come around here and we'll get cracking it's quite cool around the back as well you can't get in this place but it's got a nice little courtyard it's the back of the place like I said, fucking quality little building. This would have been a wicked pub back in the day. Shame it's gone to rack and ruin. But yeah, obviously abandoned this. I'm going to skin up really quick, try and get uh, the painting started before the sunlight sets. Yeah, so here's the two concepts I came up with. I think I'm going for the one on the left. The way it's holding that gun. I ain't got the colours to do the flames on the candle. And this one's too intricate, so we'll, we'll save that for another day. But um, that one right there, that's what we're going to smack up. I'll get some filming action in. I started painting, I forgot to fucking film, man. <laughs> Nearly outlined time. Put the white features on. I didn't do the best job of filming the last one because it was dark and that and I just forgot to I was in a rush to get the train I just forgot to put my flash on it and film it there you are, you have the dude holding up the AK don't quite have the same flair that the drawing had but I like it, that's going to stand out from the road then just here, just a little Rolls Royce tag you know, look at this spot look. obviously we've got a car pulled in here I wonder who this is, hopefully they're just stopping to make a phone call but I'll report back shortly. Just in nights having that little roll around, seeing what I could see. This is the first little thing we'll come across. Just some boards. I can get a little tag up on here. Born out there one, will it? Add my little flavour on there. Now we're going to taz into town, go uh, do a nice little piece with the character, get some nice food and fuck off back to Lincoln. It is Mother's Day after all. I think I'm going to try and go out for a little nibble with her later on, but we'll see we'll see what we'll get into over here first won't we just found these lovely little construction boards already been cluttered scribbled on so i'm just got the paint over where it's already been painted do something a little bit nicer you know what i mean yeah then that do for the first little dub of the day a bit rusty but you know still a good spot man no one else has painted it it appears that gus has painted over my pea green dew from the other week but i tell you what I've got no graph about that because that's fucking sweet that is. I'll have to look him up. There's a little spot just over here I'm going to go paint. There's a character that's been defaced or oh, someone's written over it so I'm going to claim that spot I think. Oh yeah, I forgot to do any filming again but I'm just going to cut back towards the end of this. Like, you know, fill it in a little bit for you, show you some of the action but just uh, another one of me Jews with the AK. 47s. There we have it, another one of me Jews with the AK up in arms. We've got Brazil, we've got Frog, we've got me, Royal of Royce. Yeah, getting them nice spots in, matching Frog's colour as well. Zool's got a little fucking spot up there, that's a bit cheeky, that one is, I will say. Then just around the corner, I noticed this. Got Carrot Boy, got Carrot Dub. You got Zorro, you got another Zool, the drug mule, and then I think he dropped up frog. Yeah, they big up them lads, man. All good lads right there. Shout out Elmo as well, I'm pretty sure he's on him. If it's open, we get in and unbox it. Clear. Oh, no. We'll try this one. Oh, oh, is this like an insurance place? It's gonna be in it. Hey, we're up boxing it up. Come on, let's have a smoke. Got a nice big bag of reefer and my flint's just gone. It was fucking meant to be. I make sure I put this lighter back as well when I leave because I don't want it to be classed as a car burglary. But I just reached my hand down the back of the fucking uh, the chair and there was a lighter there. I was, just, I was just about to go to the shop to go pick up one. But anyway, this is um, Rollo Royce's hot boxing. Uh, let's get in the driver's seat so I feel more official. I'm gonna have a little teaser. Have a little teaser video as well. Th this is probably a stolen car that I'm sat in. 
Because I don't believe that in the condition it's in, if it was the insurance companies, look. It doesn't look like there's a raw tough yard around me or I oh, know that that car over there has got a flat here and that Yeah, yeah, we're we're outside like a, a breaking yard, an insurance place. I'm pretty confident that this ain't a stolen motor. I didn't know that until I just looked to my left and seen the other damaged vehicles, but that's put me at ease now, at least and I'm not gonna spend tonight in a prison cell. But yeah, this is hot boxing in um a stranger's car with your host Rollo Royce. I was here to light, not to fire. I need to do this uh, thing here, I've got a video skip planned. So the initials to my name are A J Roller. So my last name is Rollerson, but obviously I abbreviate it because you know, like, you've got to be fast in this world, got to keep it short and snappy, in you? So it's A J Roller, so I'm gonna sit my man and pa down and say, get a little whiteboard and one of them big pointing sticks. And be like, look, I know, I know you're not too fond of me smoking the terries all the time, but listen, it's the prophecy. Listen, look, look close on the board. A, first letter of my name. J, first letter of my second name. Last name, Roller. A, J. Roller, it's prophesized. Didn't raise a quitter. No, you raised the blunt hitter. That's enough of the rhymes for tonight. But goddamn, I should get me one of these. I ain't no hippie or nothing. I ain't, I ain't bothered about the fucking fossil fuels. None of that. I just had an inconvenient experience with driving, so. Passed my theory test first time. I, you know, I studied up. I wanted that shit. I, I know some bright lads that have fucking gone back and done that theory test numerous times. I'm thinking, I ain't doing that shit. I'm doing it first time. Passed it. I only bought one mark, mind you, but that's all you need. They're a bit sneaky out of it. It's a hard test. You know, I'll give them that. They want to get that money out of you. So I passed that. Go through it all with the first instructor. What was his name? I don't care. He look, I told him he looked like someone famous. I don't think he liked it. I tell you, he used to look like um, him from Take That. Not Robbie Williams, but the other top boy. You know, second man in Take That. Someone knows who I'm on about. And then I had a day's work with my dad, so I joined him off. I didn't tell him till after. Then I said, look, I'm sorry I've joined you off. I'll still pay you for the lesson. I had to go do a day's work with my dad. Understand. He didn't understand, he fucked me off. Now, I was at the point with him where he says, right, you ready for your fucking test now? This was about six months into me theory. Fell out of him, had a couple months off, moved up to Lincoln. Started with this uh, Italian. Not the good kind of Italians, like one of the dodgy bastard kind. So he's not really took my word for it when I told him I can drive. Even though I put in a beautiful performance, a couple of times he, he was like grabbing for the wheel and all this and that. I fucking neon flipped on this guy one time because he had a, a little toy car he used to bring out and he had a book of pictures of roads and he used to deal with this shit with his toy car. And I just told him, look, mate, I find it a bit insulting the way you're teaching me. I, I want you to change your methods. So he, he did, whatever. But anyway, he says, right, you're ready for your test again. I says, cool, book me through. I think it runs out next month or April, whatever. I thought it ran out. Turns out it ran out in the March. I had like two weeks left. I says, bro, book me in for my test then. Do it, let's do it. He says, oh, I can't fit you in, can't fit you in. Mother liquor, bro. Mother fucking liquor. So after that, I just thought, you know what? Walking's fine. I've got my push bike just out of it. She's parked. I'll show you. Stallion, we've been places together. Most of y'all have not. But yeah, that's that's the driving story. That's why I'm a walker. That's why I'm a train rider. But I tell you what, I'm probably a stone lighter than I would be if I was hopping in the car. And I tell you what, a stone extra on me wouldn't be a bad thing. So I just made a shit point.